I will tell you that the hardest speeches that I ever had to work on were not the State of the Union address, it was not the convention speech, it was not the farewell address, it was not contentious policy speeches. If they send me the bill in its present form, I will sign it. So those were all hard, they were all very hard. The hardest speeches to work on. Okay, any questions? Were the humor speeches. So the culmination of, of all the comedy that the president had done at the various humor dinners was the video that we wound up calling the final days. There was a little bit of schadenfreude in the press that uh, the first lady was out running for Senate in New York, Al Gore was away, Bill Clinton must be miserable, right? And so we decided that we would have a little fun with this idea. So we opened the video with the president wandering through the West Anybody Wing home? and nobody's there. The radio just doesn't capture the sadness, the isolation of it all, so I've just stopped reporting it. Nobody wants to talk to him. Nobody wants to have him on their show. We talked to Tim Russert, Sam Donaldson. They said, ah. We decided that we would show how miserable he was and then have a kind of moment where he realizes that this is not such a bad deal at all. And he's watching movies with Buddy the dog, and he's washing the presidential limousine, and he's mowing the lawn, and we just went wandering around the White House complex and trying to imagine what would President Clinton do if he had nothing to do. Yes! We had a better time coming up with this stuff than doing anything else I think I did in all my time there. All right, Mr. Pete, you ready to start? Show me email. Okay, let's like Some it. of these ideas eventually got nixed. I loved this idea that he would come down at night to the White House mess, no one there. He would open those big steel industrial fridges and take out a big ham and go slice himself a huge sandwich. The Secret Service nixed that one. They said it was unsafe. Now, what do you feel like buying? I want to buy a smoked ham. Excellent choice. Right, you're there. You're almost there. How many are you going to buy? Wait, wait a minute. What's the problem? One of the things that was so remarkable about this experience was how much fun President Clinton had with it. B9. You suck my battleship. And he ad libbed just as he would in a speech. There's a great moment in this video where we asked him to sit as if he's doing his laundry. And he ad-libbed this great moment where he sees the cycle spinning around and he watches it like this. And that was, that was him. There were all sorts of great little comic touches that, that he just layered in, in in his performance. Name your own price, my man. Oh, well, we're stalking for winner. Which really elevated the thing. 